Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is your boy, Pete Ross, back in the building with another video. And right now, I know I did the Invicta versus the, the Invicta Pro Diver versus the Pagani design. But I felt like the Pagani design deserves a review of its own. So that's what we're going to be reviewing right now is the Pagani design. Submariner, Rolex Homage. Um, if you want the chance to win this watch, you can go over to SoCal Watch Reviews and um, subscribe. As soon as he gets to 1,000 subscribers, he will be giving a Pagani design away. So go over there, check that out. Now, let's get into it. Um, this is actually a remarkable watch. Um, I wore it today, and, and I must say, it felt great on the wrist. Um, although it was raining, it was cloudy outside. And when I went outside, I love the way the, uh, the light played off the sapphire glass on here. Um, and all that, you know what I mean? So let's get into some specs right quick. Okay. But before that, I'm rocking the Casio. I think it's the MH, uh, 840, something like that. You know what I mean? You know, in the building. So, uh, let's get into some specs. Alright, first of all, what we're working with, we're working with a 43 millimeter case size. Um, it's 13 millimeters thick. It has the coveted movement in it, Seiko NH35A. Um, it has 316L stainless steel case. Um, 316L stainless steel bracelet with a sapphire crystal. 100 meters of water resistance and a ceramic bezel. Now you get all this and even more for guess what? About 75 to 80 bucks. And I believe AliExpress may have one on their website for like 67 bucks. You know what I mean? Now let's take a look at the back of this joint. We're gonna look at the class first. Where you can see Pagani design engraved in the clasp. We're going to open him up and take a closer look at it. You know what I mean? And voila, for the price that you get this watch for, that is not bad. Now look at that exhibition case back right there with the coveted Seiko NH35A movement in the back. I don't know about child, but I love to have a watch that has an exhibition case back where you can see the movement and you can see the inner workings of it. I think it's bomb shit. You know what I mean? Look at that. Look at that. Love it for sure. All right, now let's go back to the front and take a look at this ceramic bezel. You know what I mean? As you can hear, you know what I'm just turning like butter. You understand? Let's, let's do one more rotation of that. You know what I mean? It's turning like butter. You know what I mean? I love the way it turned. It just feels natural. And it lines up perfect. You know what I mean? With the 12 o'clock. Lines up perfect. Alright? And the uh, the crown is a screw down crown. And you know what I mean? For the price, I can't really complain. You know what I mean? You know? For the price, I can't really complain. You know? So... It screws in, screws out, perfect. That didn't even sound right, but. So, yo, overall, I think this is a great piece to have. Um, For what they put into this, you can't get in a whole lot of watches at this price point. Real talk. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of how you feel about homage watches, how you feel about, you know what I'm saying, uh, watches coming from China, whatever. They still put a lot into this piece. You know what I mean? And I would recommend it for real. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely recommend it. And if, again, if you want this watch, head over to SoCal Watch Reviews right now. He will be giving one away. You know what I mean? So get into it. Pagani Design. That's right. Definitely worth it. Thumbs up. It's your boy Pete Ross. And we out of here.